Hello, this is Pastor Alejandro Arias. Welcome to my TikTok channel. I just want to thank you for subscribing. And also, I want to ask you to please leave your comment in the section below. And also, let us know how we can pray for you. Today, I want to give you a word out of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. The Bible says, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Verse 8, be sober-minded, be watchful. Because your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Verse 9. Resist him. Stand firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. I, I know a lot of people that struggle with anxiety. I know a lot of people that battle anxiety. In fact, all of us can say that at a certain point in our life, we have battled some kind of anxiety. All of us have different kinds of anxiety that we deal with on a daily basis. Some people are anxious about eating some things. Some people are anxious about going out at a certain hour. Some people are anxious about, you know, what's happening in the world. Some people are anxious about, you know, what their kids are going through and maybe, you know, sending their kids to school or what is going on in their school environment. Some people are anxious about different things. And the question is, how can we overcome our anxiety? Well, the number one answer to that question is, nail it on the cross. Jesus died for you and for my sins so that we can receive eternal life, so that we can receive hope, so that we live in hope, so that we no, no longer walk in fear. We no longer walk in oppression, but we walk in freedom. Jesus wants us to walk in freedom. So today, if you want to overcome your anxiety, the number one key I can give you today is cast your anxiety, cast your worry, cast your fear, cast all of the things that are preoccupying your mind and concerning you, cast those things on him because he cares for you. Number two, stay alert, be alert because the enemy will send people along your path and the enemy will you know try to tempt you and make your faith stumble by using different sets of circumstances to bring anxiety about so you need to be watchful and you need to be careful what you're listening what you're watching and what you're doing today if you want to overcome anxiety Connect your spirit with the Word of God. Feed your spirit with the Word. You know, faith comes by hearing, hearing the Word of God. So if you want to overcome anxiety today, let the Word of God wash off the anxiety and let the presence of God fill you up so that you can overcome any anxiety, any fear, or anything that's related to that anxiety. Number three, you need to resist them. You need to resist the enemy. You need to stay alert, but also resist the temptation of doing something that's going to feed that anxiety. If you know that something is wrong in your life, you need to acknowledge it. You need to humble yourself and meet God. I'm going through these. I acknowledge I'm struggling with this anxiety and I need you to take care of it. I need you to handle this for me because I'm not in control. You are in control. And number four, we need to understand that if we have faith, if we stand firm in our faith, we are going to prevail. If we walk in faith, we are going to see the victory and God is going to give us the breakthrough over that anxiety. So I hope that this word will bless you, empower you, and inspire you. And remember to check out my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day and be blessed.